Hey, this is Dr. Corey Glenn, and I wanted to show a new thing I've come up with. Um, these are typodonts that are actually 3D printable. So I'll try to post in the comments where you can uh, download this. It's a SDL that I'm selling. Uh, but basically, this is going to allow you to generate your own typodont in-house. I don't know about you, but when I was in dental school, we had to pay about $1,000 for the typodont, and then it was 7 or $8 per tooth. So every time you prepped a little class one, you were throwing $7 down the drain. So this is going to allow you to print the typodont piece one time, and then uh, basically print the teeth over and over indefinitely. Um, they're going to have a really good fit, just as good as what my dental school typodont was. And I'll just show you the way this is designed. Um, shout out to Dr. Kit Kaibach, who uh, this is actually his teeth, so you'll be prepping on a, a wonderful prosthodontist teeth when you use this. Uh, but as you can see, these are all virgin, great anatomy on them, um, you know, just like the, the anatomy of the soft tissue that you would expect in a mouth. And then if you needed to prep these, you could do so, and if you need to switch them out, they're designed such that there's a peg sticking out the bottom. Now it doesn't stick out so far that it prevents it from sitting flat where it would push those out. But whenever you are ready to switch the teeth out, you can simply push from the bottom. And you hear that little pop. And once you do that, these will come right out. Okay. So there's sockets within the model. And sometimes these are a little bit stubborn and you might have to get like a a pencil or any kind of just blunt instrument and push that out. Uh, but you'd rather have that tighter than loose because you don't want teeth wobbling around and moving um, as you're trying to do this. You want it to have a consistent fit. So these are the teeth. They're all labeled, which is very uh, you know easy to help match them up when you go and print more of them or if you've printed a whole arch of teeth and you need to know what's what. You can just simply look at the number that's inscribed into the, uh, the peg, and then that'll just match up to the site in the model. And you just simply push them in, and you ought to hear a little pop as that square piece goes down through the hole. So that prevents any, uh, any rotation. It's kind of an anti-rotational feature. Um, the rest of it is just cylindrical, as you see here and there's a little bit of spacer offset between the tooth and the model so that you know if your printer's just a little bit uh, you know off on calibration hopefully you should be able to still get these in but that's basically it um, you know these could be mounted on an articulator and that way you could kind of do this uh, you know if you're a lab technician and you're trying to practice doing uh, full arch crown and bridge stuff. You could actually put it on an articulator, mount it, move it through excursive movements. Uh, but anyway, I'm excited to offer this. And again, I'll try to put the link for download in the comments.